synthetic stock. Um, made in Austria, so it's a European rifle, and the quality of finish, the standard of finish, is very Euro European, very well finished off. All the Titan 6s are an interchangeable barrel system, so you can change all the way from calibers triple two to 375 Ruger on one receiver. Um, today we'll be converting calibers and also taking it out to the range to shoot it at 100 metres to see what kind of groups we'll get out of it. Currently this is calibre 308. Um, we'll be converting it to a triple two. Why we're converting it to a triple two is because uh, we'll have to change the barrel, the bolt and the magazine. Um, in your medium calibers, most of the time you only need to change your barrel. Um, you can keep the same magazine, the same bolt. Uh, but we're just going to change it to a triple two to demonstrate everything on the rifle and what it can do. Okay, first off we'll uh, take off the stock. Uh, I'm just going to swing the scope off. I'm lucky enough to have the AW swing off mounts on this rifle, so it makes it very easy to take apart. Uh, you don't have to worry about the scope being in the way. Uh, not a big deal if the scope's in the way, but um, just for this demonstration I'll get it off the gun. Uh, so we'll start off by taking the stock off. Uh, it's just two screws under the under the stock. Very simple. Next up, we'll undo the two locking screws for the barrel. One of the good features about the Titan Six bolts, you don't need to buy a complete bolt to change, for instance, to a triple two. Uh, the internals of the bolt come out. The only thing you need to buy is the uh, external part of the bolt. Um, this just slips straight into the mini bolt, which is uh, which has a lot of calibers. Um, this one, for instance, does triple two, two two three, three hundred whisper, and so on. Um, so that was just very easy to interchange. So the copper piece stays with with you the whole time. Uh, the only thing you change is the outer outer shell of the bolt. Another good feature of these bolts is if you do break a firing pin, they're um, very simple to get to. You just take the cocking piece out and the firing pin drops out. So I've got my uh, medium bolt out, uh, my 308 barrels there. Um, now I'll just put my, um, my mini bolt inside the receiver. Got to pull down the trigger to get it in. So just, just chuck it in like that, clips into place. Uh, then you just get your barrel. Um, Barrel's got a locator on it, so it's always got to locate in the, in the right spot. Uh, you just lock it up, and then you then you do the the locking screws, locking nuts up. Now it says in the manual to do them up to seven and a half newtons, so that's what we'll do. And the last thing, uh, we'll just take our medium, medium magazine out, uh, medium caliber magazine. It has a range of calibers, this magazine. For instance, um, the three, well, this was a 308. Also does a 243, uh, 6.5 by 55, SE, 6.5 by 57, 6.5 by 65, 7x57, 8x57 IS, 7mm uh, 08 RAM. So a lot of calibers in this one magazine. So we'll stick this one in. Um, this one does triple two, two to three, three under whisper. Um, so that's it. Uh, we've converted to a triple two. So now I've converted to a triple two. Um, the mini bolt doesn't actually return quite as far as the magnum bolts or the uh, or the medium bolts. Uh, it's restricted because the rounds are generally shorter in length. You don't want to be um, pulling the bolt back more than necessary. So it is restricted by the, by the groove that's milled out underneath the bolt. Um, it's a shorter groove. Uh, it's also a shorter bolt, but it fits in the same receiver as all the, all the other calibers. I'll bring it up a bit closer to the camera so we can have a look between the two bolts and see what the difference is. So this is the, this is the bolt for, for the medium calibers. Um, as you can see, the groove get, goes right from there all the way back. Um, this is the bolt for the, for the mini calibers. As you can see, the the groove drops short, um, that's so it doesn't return as far more than it has to, uh, which is a good feature on these rifles. I've converted the rifle back to 308, uh, that's what we want to test today at 100 metres. I'll just swing the scope back on, yeah, that'll be swing off now, so that's all you need to have. Um, so we're just using your uh, basic skinny barrel um, and a Dr. Classic Scope uh, 2.5 to 10 by 48. Let's see how it goes.